Hey everyone, it's Michelle here, Ormish Crafts, and today I have the most gigantic box that I've never received before, and it is from Arteza. They reached out to me so I can review some of their amazing art supplies, and I said yes because I'm all about trying new things, and they let me choose from a selection, and I chose the most familiar ones I've used before so I can compare them in this DIY video. So without further ado, let's just get started and hop into the materials. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the post notification button to get notified every time when I upload a new video. Okay, so let's begin by taking a look at this 30 3D fabric paint set and i'm kind of overwhelmed by so many colors but you know it's worth it for 26 dollars because compared to scribbles paint it is two to three dollars for one little bottle where this is like not even close to a dollar for one in the box it comes with sticker templates which i don't need because i'll be using these paints in a squishy video and it also comes with two paintbrushes now that we got the main item out of the way, these are the four colors that I'll be mainly using for this um, pudding squishy. Next, I will also use these super tiny 15 detail brushes from Arteza. They are super, super tiny and very cute, and I wanted to try them out for like cute kawaii faces. Minus the Arteza supplies, I'll be using my own scissors, paintbrush, foam for the squishy, painting gloves, and a painting container. Begin by cutting the piece of foam into a basic cylinder shape for the pudding squishy. After you have that basic cylinder shape, you can now start by cutting at an angle like I'm showing here. And while you're doing that, trim off any rough edges to reveal a little pudding guy. Now that the actual squishy is done, it is time for paint and as you can already tell by so many of my tutorials, I like to start with white puffy paint so that the other colors can show on easier. After I let it dry, I did a little squish test to see how squishy it got. It got really, really squishy, but really, really stiff. So I don't know how it'll go with other more layers of paint but we'll see now for the actual color i'll be painting it a pink color for a strawberry pudding because i already made a plain yellow one last time so i decided to change things up a bit and make this pink since the pink color in the paint set is a bit too dark for my taste i decided to make it a little bit lighter by using the red and the white paint after around three layers of paint, it is time to paint the top of the pudding or the caramel part, I guess. So I used brown and then I evenly distributed the paint with the detailed paintbrush. Of course, this won't be a kawaii pudding without a face, so I'm using brown again along with some red for the cheeks. I also added an eye pin to the squishy, but that is totally optional. And that is it for the actual pudding squishy. And now for the packaging. And this is the most fun part. I don't know why, but I get to use so many of Arteza supplies for this. So the first one is this set of 48 color pencils. And I like how it is labeled with the color name. It's so much easier for me to know which one I used. Next, I will also use their 48 fine liner pens and I'm so happy that I got this because they look so cool. They are so unique, they're triangular shaped and it's so, I don't know, I like fine liner pens. Then the last Arteza supply that I will use is this black fine liner pen from this 12 set and I don't really need 12 but you know it's nice to have some.
In these next few clips, you can just watch me decorate the little dish part for the packaging and the color pencils glide on the paper really well and it, it works just like Prismacolors, like, what? And they're way cheaper. The only downside is that I wish these color pencils were sharpened to a point because it was kind of cut off, which is weird, but I sharpened it in the end. And that is how I made the plate for the squishy. As for the packaging, here are all of the materials that I'll be using. So first I placed the paper plate that I made into the bottom of the packaging. Then I used some tape to secure down the two tabs at the bottom. Lastly, place your squishy inside of the packaging and using some twine, just tie it off as a bow. And that is basically it for this DIY kawaii pudding tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's super cute, very simple, and super slow rising at the same time. Thank you so much again to Arteza for sending me these amazing supplies for me to try out in this tutorial. Overall, I'm really happy with the supplies they sent me. They worked really, really well. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to join the fam. You know what I'm saying? Okay, bye guys.